morning guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking it's Wednesday morning in Nairobi town and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe just give me a minute so let me cross the road I'm in Nairobi and today I am doing the cheap versus expensive mm -hmm. challenge guess who I've met <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're looking good. Thank you. I mean, you're Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. My hair, I can't deal with my hair right now. Even me, because <laughs> I have worn this. Today when I was coming to town, I was really, really encouraged. I saw someone with one leg. One leg. Like the other one is not there. And he was cycling on Thika Road with one leg. As in, I was shocked. You know? And some of us, we were just okay and we complained about everything. So I think we should just learn to be grateful. You know, that was crazy. Anyway, today I'm doing the cheap versus expensive challenge. And uh, I'll be talking about samosa. Samosa is a snack that is commonly eaten in Kenya, but the price usually ranges. So I am uh, on the UN bridge, uh, we are taking photos then you are told that he, photos are not allowed, oh my god he's coming here he is, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he is coming behind me, let me put the phone away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I, but I don't think so. Oh my god, let me just put the phone away. So the last time I ate samosa for 220 shillings a java, many of you guys were like, that is crazy. Where would anyone spend 220 on samosa? But what if it is actually worth it? So, I want to head to Baker's Inn to buy their samosa and see how good it is. Then, we're going to go to somewhere random where they sell samosa at an affordable price like 50 shillings then we'll compare and see if it is actually worth it So this is how the samosa looks like, small, it's actually really really small. <laughs> when I was buying this samosa, they didn't ask me if I wanted it with chili or plain and they didn't, they didn't have any other options, this was just I guess the one with the minced meat. Yeah and we are standing because here at Baker's Inn they don't have seats. Look at the way it looks inside. <laughs> Nothing much, just the minced meat and some onions, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess for 50 shillings, that samosa was okay. I actually expected the samosa to be like... What do you want to take? Selfie. your best. To make sure so I was expecting the samosa at Baker's Inn to be around 100 shillings but shockingly it was 50 shillings 50 Kenyan shillings which is actually quite cheap the samosa I give it like 5 over 10 yeah so the weather in Nairobi is really really cold it looks like it can start training any minute now yeah, but for some reason I don't feel like wearing a sweater. I don't know why. Let me let you in on something. Caldi's coffee shop is known for its great coffee, but they actually have awesome lemonade. And here's my lemonade. Oh my gosh, but it's so cold. For some reason when it's really cold, I feel like taking cold things. I ordered for the small lemonade at Caldi's Coffee House, but they put it in this big cup. Look at this. This is actually the large lemonade at Java, yet it is the small lemonade at Caldi's Coffee House. Which means you can actually get it at a cheaper price and in larger quantity at Caldi's. So why not come here? Thank me later. <laughs> So 
excuse, Habari? Uko na samosa? Yeah, 50 bob. That one. Unfortunately, the samosa at Uchumi is 40 shillings and I'm looking for somewhere where they sell samosas for about 100 shillings. So I'm going to Krimi in to check them out. I'm crossing my fingers. I really hope they sell samosas at around 100 shillings. I'm outside Krimi in and it's also 50 shillings. Damn. The gap is just so big. You either find samosa for 50 shillings and the other one that you find is for 200 shillings. 50 or 200 shillings. There's none in between but I'm still looking. I'm still hoping to find a place. So I'm inside this hotel. I was checking for samosa. Samosa here is also 50 shillings. So now I am outside Club Tribeca. I usually don't go to clubs but I'm going for you guys. I'm going to check out the samosa. Yeah, I'm about to go in. Going in. So I'm inside Club Tribeca for the first time. Oh my god, these blue lights are making me look weird. So apparently, here they sell two samosa. Oh, shoes. I hadn't seen that lovely. Here they sell two samosas for 150. And uh, I've asked them if they can purchase one samosa. They said no, it's not allowed. So that means they sell one samosa at 75 shillings, which is whew, which is actually okay. It's the medium price. Thank you. Okay. Right over there is Nation Center. This is our view. You can see people walking down here. Anyway, let me test my samosa. But it's so soft, you can't even lift it up. So let me test it. I can give it a 6 out of 10. Look at how it looks inside. I think this samosa is not all that, but the fact that they had some lemon that you can, you know, put on top makes it taste even better. It is evening in Nairobi, the sun is setting, and I'm going to Garden City. So today I'm going to try out Java samosa. Oh, the sun is setting. Such a beautiful view. Let me show you. Finally, I'm at Garden City and this is my outfit of the day. I have this cute dress, my black doll shoes, my pink bag, and I'm good to go. Yeah. How I'll be here in 15 minutes. So I was getting some pizza for my bro. Yeah, so right now I'm going to Java, which is downstairs. Today, uh, Garden City is really, really empty. Okay, there are people, but compared to how it usually is on Sundays, it is actually empty. So guys are looking at me as I'm vlogging, but I think by now I am so used to it. Yeah, I'm totally used to it. <laughs> Finally, here is Java. Finally, I have my samosa over here and I have my strawberry lemonade. Yeah. Um, this samosa is actually really, really big. I don't know if you guys can see it. And this looks so yummy. So, let me just dive in. I love how these Java straws are usually just big. Uh, and black they're just different not like any other straws am i making sense anyway <laughs> look at this i love the color oh my god best drink i've ever drunk in a restaurant i swear Strawberry lemonade at Java, 10 over 10. So 
the last time I came to Java, I just took lemonade, but this time I've taken strawberry lemonade and I think it's it's on point. So let me test this samosa. I have actually eaten them two times before. When you taste it, oh my god. 10 out of 10. This is really nice. So inside they have chicken and I can see some vegetables as well. Apart from this being the biggest samosa that I have ever eaten, it was chicken samosa, an option that I didn't get in any other place in Nairobi. I'm out of Java. That's it there behind me. If you are someone who looks for quality, you don't care about the cash, you want good food, I totally recommend the Java samosa. However, if money matters to you, I always say that it doesn't have to be expensive. Sometimes things are expensive just because of the brand. Honestly, even the one that was 50 shillings was also okay. But sometimes it's good to go medium. You know, play safe. Not Sometimes things that are very cheap are expensive in the long run. If you get what I mean. Like this one time, my friend was traveling to a country and uh, she bought samosa, you know, in the matatu. And everything seemed to be okay. And then her stomach started aching. Oh my god. And it was crazy because she was in a matatu. It was just, you know, messed up. Okay, I need to reduce this volume. I don't want copyright. So it's that, guys. I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah. I love you guys so much. Bye. Thank you.